Hey there, welcome to another Unity C Sharp tutorial. So in the last two videos, we have learned how we can change the position and the rotation of a game object. So in this video, we're going to learn how we can change the size of the scale. This, how we can change the scale value of this variable. So let's get started. So as you can see, we can we can access this scale value or the size of the variable by writing transform dot local scale and then by writing x or y or z. So let's say we want to move, we want to modify the x value and increase it by five in each and every frame. So if I try to run it right now, as you can see, again it gives me the same error. Uh, if you can remember a few videos ago when we tried to change the position of the game object, Unity didn't give us permission to, to do that. The same way, it will not give us permission to change the scale directly. So, we have to store the value of the scale, store the original size of the variable, uh, I'm sorry, of the game object inside a temporary variable. Then we have to change the value of the x, y, or z inside this temporary variable. And finally, we have to assign that again into this uh, local scale variable. Okay. So first of all, let me create a temporary variable temp which can store the value. So first of all, in the update, we have to inside temp we have to store transform dot local scale dot or local scale. So first of all, inside temp we are storing the local scale. Then temp dot x plus equals uh, let's say 1f. So now we are modifying or increasing the value of this temp by 1 each and every frame. So in each and every frame we are modifying it by 1. So that means the cube will get increased in size in the x-axis. So it will keep increasing and increasing and increasing. And finally we have to put this modified value of temp to this local scale. So finally we can write transform.localScale equals temp. So we are storing it in the temporary variable, changing it from the temporary variable and finally putting the changed value inside the local scale. So if I go and run it right now, as you can see, the cube, the size of the cube gets increased. But as you can see that it moves too fast. So the same way what you can do is instead of writing one, we can write time dot delta time. It's a very good way to do that. And we have learned about time dot delta time in previous videos and I have also attached the time dot delta time video in the playlist. And I have also given the link in the description. You should definitely watch the video on time dot delta time. It's very very important. So as you can see if I do it right now, now you will see a very smooth movement and it is going really awesome. The cube is changing by one unit in one second. Okay, so this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. Thank you very, very much for watching and see you in the next video. Thanks.